see if anything interesting comes out. <clears throat> Got a new opportunity here. Something is out of your hands. Sometimes this could be interpreted as betrayal. King of Swords, Sword Energy, could be overthinking, waiting. King of Swords is usually Capricorn Aquarius energy. It could be Capricorn Aquarius time of the season. This is usually a decision. This could be a higher up as far as uh, work and career, like a supervisor. This could be a couple, though, too. This is Libra Virgo energy. Okay. They could see someone in conflict. This has been coming across as money magic, though. Mm. Someone is not available emotionally. Could be not wanting help or aid. Doesn't want to grow in a certain direction. Maybe wants to do their own thing. Okay, but what is this Ten of Swords? What is this out of your hands and or feeling betrayed? Because this new opportunity feels good. This is having... This is the Magician's card. This is this Double Wish Fulfillment Star card. Um, this is having attained something. Okay, this is also Hangman in Reverse. This has attained some sort of victory here. He's holding the Ace of Spade. Okay, so, I mean, for every Ten of Sword, there is an Ace of Spade to come out after that. So that is very apropos. Um, tens are about endings. This could be some form of death, you know, like the old me's dead and gone. And that's what this new opportunity is here. Someone wants their own relationship. Someone wants their own thing. Um, this is a very auspicious card. Like I said, this represents Hangman in reverse. For me, my, my interpretation anyways. The Magician. Um, that Ace of Sword. That Two of Pentacle. Which is getting your foot in and your balance after this kind of... Uh, could even just be this kind of Thanksgiving um, uh, time off. And then uh, that Two of Sword, or excuse me, that um, Double Star card energy. Three of Pentacle, that could be collaborative effort, living situation. Someone could be checking in on you and narrowing down. This is Gemini Cancerian energy. Queen of Cups in the upright. Coming out of a third party situation. Slash narrowing down to the Two of Cup. Biting for something. At times could be confusing. Or coming out of confusion. Something being revealed or illuminated or articulated with the Eight of Wands in the upright. Something that helps you come out of worry and puts you in a better position financially. Could be work related. Wow, Ten of Pentacle. It's going to put you in a very favorable position. Remember I slipped up and I said Two of Swords earlier. That was <clears throat> on par because you got the Two of Swords now. This is about... Could be the past, can be again really wanting someone could really want a relationship um, or be mourning the end or the loss or the past or the. This is Taurus Gemini energy rushing in a night. Rushing in towards someone as they're walking away. Someone walked away. Someone could be mourning a past relationship. That could have ended around this time. Pisces, Aries energy. Coming out of confl conflict and being happy again. And emotionally happy as well. This is... 
Aquarius, Pisces energy with the Knight of Heart here. Hmm. Could be someone from the past returning. Could be... Someone new coming around the same time the past wants to return. Okay, it could be the person that you're meant to marry as well with the Four of Wands in the upright. Sag Cap energy, another queen energy here. Feminine, non-gender specific. Yeah, it's like a lot of people want to offer value to you possibly yeah the masculine Aries Taurus could be close to the feminine Sag Capricorn it's almost as if you got maybe the past lingering other offers but they're not on your level remember you're either coming across as king or a queen maybe even another queen here um, you know, those sword energies came out as a match as well from before. <clears throat> yeah, it, to me, it's just kind of speaking to like a water reaching its level. There's that ace of spades, that energy of, at of attainment as maybe you're in a period of rest here. There's that king of wands. We know where he goes with the queen of wands. Compensation, maybe attention or communication straightforward direct energy a direct soulmate you could feel as though that within the next week to six weeks as we leave Scorpio season possibly that you're pulling in your um, counterpart See, there's that guy again. It's like you're, ma you're manifesting your counterpart. <clears throat> it's possible that you had to heal from past relationships. And actually forgive and let go of it. I did a practice uh, the other day where I told myself, like, I forgive everyone. You know, and I like put my hand on my heart. And I think there's something to that kind of, you know, quantumly. Two of one in the upright. Looking forward. I think you feel as though that you're, you're coming into your own season of balance where your priorities are balanced and you're excited to see things pick up again for yourself. You, you're, you're liking how you're moving, maybe in a more organized, priority-oriented way. And you're actually might be having a lot of free time since the holidays kind of business slows down. And so you're able to allocate your time as you would want to, you know, so I would say try to enjoy it. Don't necessarily look at it as as if it's always going to be this way. If you do feel like things are slowing up. OK. It is the holiday after all. <clears throat> yeah, I see you kind of slowly, steadily moving towards stability. Okay. Cutting ties with that which doesn't serve you, essentially. You know, because this is ethically, morally, as well as you headed towards stability. And that means maybe leaving those that you feel don't represent the same moral compass. That was a very interesting read. Obviously long form, but worth it. Love you guys. Please follow me on TikTok. Come and get to 1K. And as always, reach out for one-on-one. -on -one, only $2 a minute. You can text my phone number on my page. College player. Peace.